Now, if they make it to the final, the girls will get five and a half thousand dollars each. The blokes will get sixty-nine thousand dollars each. Each, each. <gasps> How can anyone justify this item? They can't. No. I, I mean, the gender. I beg your pardon. I can justify it. How? Them. Why? Well, I, I tell you what. Stars don't get paid more money. Because, uh, I mean, you, a sport doesn't become interesting because the stars are paid more money. Stars get paid more money because the sport is interesting. Let me ask you this. How many of you guys on the panel know who our Australian Matildas are playing in the quarterfinals? Don't. No, because you don't care about it. Now, if you cared about it... I do it, if they win. No, no, they but beat, that's the thing. They beat do you know what? All of you can go and watch W League uh, games in the women's competition here, but you don't. Mm. Now, when you start to go and watch these women play the wonderful football they do, then they'll earn more money. But it's... I don't go to watch the men play football either. Yeah, I know, but a lot mm. of people do, I tell you. The Men's World Cup is one of the biggest money spinners on the planet. Women's football, even though at grassroots level it's working really, really well, it's got a long way to go. The other thing, let me ask you this about sports equality. The top ten fastest men of all time in terms of sprinters are all black, of African or uh, origin. Are you telling me that the white guys should say, hold on, we should be paid just as much as the black guys for sprinting? No, because they're not as fast. I know, whoever wins gets the most. Yeah, well, that's it. Do you know what? There is not, but, one, there is not one team in the Women's World Cup that could beat a junior male side in the A-League. So what? So they're not as good. Well, they're why playing women. Why nonsense? What? Maybe, maybe yeah, but, them. But, but, why, but, but to me, it comes down to simply a matter of inequity. It's not... I mean, women are not paid the same amount of money as blokes in so many professions, and I think we need to pay women more in sport, in all sorts of different jobs. Well, and, regardless and... of whether the product's as good. But, but they are top of their game, so why aren't they paid because a no, top it's... dollar for being top of their game? They're and not top of the mind. Let's talk about tennis. OK, tennis, the, the pay dis discrepancy in world tennis is not as great as other sports. So at Wimbledon... Until, there's about... But only recently. Yeah, that's right. But the, the reason being is because the product that the female tennis players are offering is good. Because in male tennis, it's serve, volley, ace, double fault. Whereas <laughs> women's tennis is more about rallies. It's better to watch. And that's why it's paid more. But yeah. The only reason mm. we're talking about the Matildas today is not because of their achievements on the field, but because of a ge gender pay discrepancy. Therefore, it's not the sport no, you're interested in, but true. the if injustice. If you arrived earlier yesterday, you would have heard me saying, wasn't it fantastic, the Matildas beat Brazil? Mm. Yeah, good, but how... And we were talking about it. You were, we were all talking about it on the panel. Do you know we showed that does make clip. a good point. Who can, can you name five players from the team? I can't. But I'm not a soccer fan. That still doesn't mean I can't stand up for women to be paid the same amount as blokes. I, I, th I think the, Dick, the point Dicko is trying to make is if, 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 we want the, if we want more pay equality to happen, we need to support women's sport mm. and watch it more. As, as a country, we need to get behind, yeah. um, you know, our, our big female sporting teams instead of just complaining that we're not paid the same.